friends. It's Christmas Day. Merry Christmas. I hope that Santa was nice to you all and left you a bunch of fun toys. Did you know that some people actually question Santa Claus's existence because we never get to see him? How silly, right? Well, a long, long time ago, way back in 1897, Eight-year-old Virginia O'Hanlon wrote a letter to the New York Sun newspaper asking if Santa Claus was real because some of her friends said that he, there was no Santa Claus. So for today's Fiction Friday post, I wanted to share with you the response of newsman Francis Farcellus Church. The link to the text is in the description below if you want to read along. Virginia, your little friends are wrong. They have been affected by the skepticism of a skeptical age. They do not believe except they see. They think that nothing can be which is not comprehensible by their little minds. All minds, Virginia, whether they be men's or children's, are little. In this great universe of ours, man is a mere insect, an ant, in his intellect as compared with the boundless world about him, as measured by the intelligence capable of grasping the whole of truth and knowledge. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. He exists as certainly as love and generosity and devotion exist. And you know that they abound and give to your life its highest beauty and joy. Alas, how dreary the world would be if there were no Santa Claus. It would be as dreary as if there were no Virginias. There would be no childlike faith then, no poetry, no romance to make tolerable this existence. We should have no enjoyment except in sense and sight. The eternal light with which childhood fills the world would be extinguished. Not believe in Santa Claus? You might as well not believe in fairies. You might get your papa to hire men to watch all the chimneys on Christmas Eve to catch Santa Claus. But even if they did not see Santa Claus coming down, what would that prove? Nobody sees Santa Claus. But that is no sign that there is no Santa Claus. The most real things in the world are those that neither children nor men can see. Did you ever see fairies dancing on the lawn? Of course not, but that's no proof that they are not there. Nobody can conceive or imagine all the wonders that are unseen and unseeable in this world. You may tear apart the baby's rattle and see what makes the noise inside, but there is a veil covering the unseen world which not the strongest man, nor even the united strength of all the strongest men that ever lived could tear apart. Only faith, Fancy, poetry, love, and romance can push aside that curtain and view and picture the supernatural beauty and glory beyond. Is it all real? Ah, Virginia, in all this world there is nothing else real and abiding. No, Santa Claus. Thank God he lives. And he lives forever. A thousand years from now, Virginia. Nay, ten times ten thousand years from now. He will continue to make glad the heart of childhood. Wasn't that just the best response to a question about Santa Claus? I love it, and my mommy's family read it every year growing up. I believe in Santa Claus, just like I believe in my mommy and daddy to take the best care of me they can. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas, and I'll see you all on Monday for our next Music Monday song. Happy holidays, and thanks for hanging out with me today. Bye!